This is a tiny sock heel. It's been turned. It's a very small sock. And we're going to look at the holes that appear on either side of a heel flap. I don't normally worry about these whilst I'm actually knitting. I fix them in the finishing stages with a circular suture, which works very nicely. And it's far better than adding in extra stitches and decreasing them away and potentially making a lump. But why don't we treat it like a conventional short row? Here is an identical miniature sock with the heel turn. And there's the line of decreases. And this is the area where the hole normally occurs. And so the only thing I did differently on this sock was to treat the heel flap like a short row. We're going to imagine this to be the back of a sock and we're going to work the heel flap as far as these last two stitches. So I'm now knitting one quarter of the round past the centre back position. And rather than just turning the work straight away, what I'm going to do is a conventional short row. Borrow the first stitch. Take the arm between the needles slip it back and now I'm ready to turn and do my first row on my heel flap. I call that manoeuvre a borrow, wrap and replace. So I bring my yarn to the private side and heel flaps, um, I work my slips on the private side and you always begin by slipping the first stitch of the row so I can work this by slipping and purling going into both stitches at once, pull the left needle out, or you can do a conventional slip and purl. I'm going to continue doing this until I get to the last five stitches on the other side. So this is the sock, this section on my needle is the heel flap. So I want to turn again. So I'm going to borrow, wrap the yarn around it, replace it and turn the work and because I've done my slips on the purl side row I'm now going to just begin with the slip and knit the remaining stitches. I've now completed my heel flap and it's as long as it is now wide. I made my slips on the purl rows, slip purl, slip purl, slip purl and I slipped only the first stitch on the knit rows Slip the first one, knit all the rest. I've changed colours to indicate the new stitches and now I'm going to knit up stitches along the side of this heel flap. So I'm just going to use the edge of each stitch. That's the chain selvage. You've got one edge stitch for every two rows on your heel flap. And I'm going to lift up the side of that stitch and turn it so that as I knit it, it twists, which gives us a nice firm join without any gaps. Turn it round and knit. Now I come to my short row wrap. So I'm going to neaten that by knitting under the wrap. So I tuck my needle under from the fronts of the work and into the stitch simultaneously, knit the two together. That's not a decrease, you're just neatening your short row. And off around the sock. You will then knit around the sock until you get to the second side of the heel flap. So we've gone across the instep. Here is the short row on the second side, so once again we go under from the public side and into the stitch, knit the two pieces together and make sure that the stitch comes in front of the wrap and now we'll knit up stitches down this side of the heel flap.
Here are the two identical socks. This one was done without any short row wraps. And this one was done with a short row wrap. There's your short row wrap on this side. And there is your lack of a short row wrap on that side. Now these can be perfectly easily neatened with a circular suture. And I'll cover that on a future video.